Kaprizov off the end boards. Goudreau. Now ends up at the line for Spurgeon. Spurgeon fires, scores! Spurgeon moved to the middle and looked like he had a spot in mind from the beginning and then just flings a wrister into the net. It's 4-3. Getting the puck to the top. Traffic in front of the net. Erickson Eck, big body. Everybody knows it's going there if you are not in the shooting line. Wild have Hartman take the draw. He wins it. Balagoski to Hartman, 10 seconds left, throws it toward the net, tipped off the end wall, loose behind the Pittsburgh goal, out front, Dumba, shot, rebound, they score! Brian Hartman ties it with 1.1 to go! Unbelievable! He's off the six on five situation. The Wild were able to come up with face-off. Second effort by Beckman, keeping this puck alive, getting it out to Matt Dumba. Ryan Rust is able to block. Trying to find a way to get his top two scorers ignited. Fiala, one goal. Kaprizov, zero. Here comes Fiala in alone. Fiala lost control, couldn't get a shot away. Puck still loose. It winds up in the corner. Eric Sinek on it for Minnesota. Into the middle, Spurgeon. He fires. Tip. Foligno scores! There in the back, great position, keeping that puck alive, and Marcus Foligno taking it. Circles the net, great pressure from the Wild. Merrill across to Addison. Into the corner for Kaprizov. Kaprizov working for space, got it to Addison, a long shot, save, they score! Tipped out front, and Minnesota has two quick ones. It's two zip wild. They've been playing a little bit east and west, and that's exactly what's going on here early in the game. Addison with a great job getting the puck to the net. A nice little fortuitous bounce. It looked to me like that might have went off of Ryan Hartman. or the Brings a smirk to the face. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes it's not always about how hard you shoot it. He did a great job of just getting that puck through to the paint, and he got rewarded because of it. Fiala back to the trailing Kulikov. Kulikov fires. Save Gustafson. Rebound. Sturm scores! Nice turn up here by Kevin Fiala. Looking up, got his head up. I thought Kulikov could have let this puck go right here. Hangs on to it. Gets the puck into the paint. Now it's time to fight and battle. Loose shift for the first power play unit. They head to the bench. Brodeen to Dumba in with speed. Dumba centers. Felino scores! And now off of the rush, Matt Dumba using his speed. I thought he could have taken it to the net. Nice little saucer pass, and Marcus Foligno gets enough on. Off the boards for Delzato. Bumped by Kaprizov, taken away by Fiala. Fiala races through neutral ice, holding off a check from Stutzla. Fiala, Kaprizov scores! The thrill breaks the seal! Just enough speed to get inside position. Now it's over. Once I get position, now I gotta slow things down, put it on the tape. All I have to do if I gets pressure from Kadri. Comes loose to Brodine. Dumba. Down low for Felino. Into the middle. Hartman scores! And the power play goal for Ryan Hartman is fourth of the year. As Minnesota even 1-1. He scored in Seattle, does a good job, but how about Marcus Felino here? Wild do a great job patiently getting control of this. A look off fake, like he's going back to. Loose to the line. Lazat centered, wanted a tip by Hartman. Merrill plays it in behind. Felino deflects. Kaprizov's there. Out front, Hartman scores! The feed from Kaprizov back to the net. And Minnesota's dominance early rewarded. Hartman with his third of the year. It's 1-0 wide. In the middle of the Kraken's defense here. Again, look at that open up. Great play to corral this puck high off the glass. Wild with six of the eight shots on goal in the game. Erickson X sends it ahead. Zuccarello with the long. He scores! And the Wild have the first goal for
for the first time this season. On the ice comes Erickson Eck. They find him in the middle, and what a saucer pass covering two zones. Brodeen across for Greenway. Tried to chip it into the corner. Brodeen there sets a clearing attempt. His shot deflected. Got to go. They score! Jonas Brodeen with a shot from the high slot, and then he attacks the net. A good job holding the blue line, turning pucks over, then following this one up. It's a shot. Eventually gets blocked, but sticks with it. Good job batting that one. Wasn't able to dial in his sights. Pitlick to Dumba. He scores! Side on this one. Misses the net. Rims all the way around. Matt Dumba off the ice. Good stick there to break that play up. Nico Stern finds Drew Hame. Eventually makes its way to Pitlick. With a nice saucer pass here to the street. Zero shots. Here comes Merrill. Long pass connects with Bukestad. Bukestad scores! It's been a great start to the season for Bukestad. D zone breakout. Johnny Merrill with the head up. Indirect pass. Good long stick. Way to be available by Bukestad. He comes in. Worked all summer on that shot. Floats at cross ice, trying to connect with Bukestad. Borowiecki couldn't clear. Duhane fires. Rebound, they score! And it's the fourth line again with 1.5 left. It's 5-2. Get their second goal. Fourth line again, Duhame on the forecheck. Good job, grabs this one, corrals it, puts it down where he can shoot. And then Marcus commented that as the night progressed, he turned into Led Tasso. <laughs> well, he is Ted Lasso, such a nice guy, right? Like, oh, he's a perfect Ted Lasso. Sturm shot, they score! It's deflected out front. Duhame this time should get credit for his first in the NHL. Duhame has his first NHL goal. Anthony Dean Emerson always talks about how he trusts everybody in all situations. Duhame. Down from the line, into the corner, Greenway. Up high for Goligoski, works to the middle. Spurgeon winds, fire, scores! the puck. Ducks have full control. Eventually it works its way around top. Great screen in front. Front Felino with his skates on the paint. Jared Spurgeon. We've seen him. Felino grabs a loose puck for Minnesota. Works by Mahura. Felino on his backhand. Drops it back. Merrill scores! First put the Offensive zone, couple physical plays. First Jordan Greenway wins one. Then Felino does a good job protecting the puck below the goal line. John Merrill. And it gets by Brodine and out to center. Zuccarello just off the bench. Here's Hartman moving in. He scores! Wild for the second game in a row, winning no team. Tonight's hero, Ryan Harmon, great change, Goudreau, Harmon comes on, burst of speed, gets the puck, comes up the ice, makes no mistake, head up, looks, sees that upper corner, quick look. Obviously the Jets, they don't know him, we talked to the coaching staff this morning, they said, hey listen, Kaprizov's getting more attention. The Kings zone, the Ducks zone, well the Jets don't hear. Dumba fire, save Hellebuck, long rebound, and a chance to score! to hear all the fans in here right now, Anthony. Just a four-check shift. Kaprizov does a good job winning a puck battle on the half wall. That Zuccarello throws it across. Kaprizov controls. Fiala drops to Spurgeon, fakes the shot. Zuccarello's shot deflected. Erickson X scores!
Keen at even last year. We talked about him getting an opportunity on the power play. Doesn't take him long to make it look good. It's a good zone entry to get the puck. I thought maybe Spurgeon was going to bring that one to the... I think, I think what he possesses is, is an eagerness to be coached and a willingness to play coachable hockey. Hey, listen, this is a system. This is a role. They score! It's deflected in! Zuccarolo got a piece of it. May have got in off of his hip. But it's a tying tally for Minnesota. And it's 3-3. Playing his own starts on a face-off win, but just Goligoski in a good spot. Throws a backhanded puck on that. Just a hoper. Zuccaro. Dumba. Carries to the circle. Nearly lost it to Lowry. Got it back. Hartman to Goudreau. Back to Goligoski. Saved by Hellebuck. Rebound. They score! Foligno tips it in. Matt Tumble with a second effort on the half wall there. Saves this play. Looked like an easy clear for the Jets. Instead, they end up coming back the other. He takes a, a ride around the merry-go-round. Across to Fiala. Talbot makes his way to the bench. He's off. Six on five for Minnesota with a minute to go. Kaprizov tried to center. And he go up the short side there best play that's what you're supposed to do the Jets take a couple swipes at and Lowry leads a shorthanded rush for the Jets he has Stanley with him Stanley denied by Talbot and back come the wild it's three on one at the Jets line Kaprizov to Fiala Kaprizov and an X goal Thrilling finish. Two on one. Lowry to Stanley. And you knew it was coming back the other way as soon as it was saved. And then Caprice off the patience. Two on one. Let's wait for support. Three on one. Tick, tack, toe. Erickson Eck on the back door. Empty cage. Around for Fiala. Back into the corner. Edler hustles over. Rass tried to center. Comes loose to Kulikov. A shot. Sliding save by Quick. Fiala back of the net. In the middle. Good row. Scores! And there's an answer for Minnesota. Freddie Goodrow with his first goal as a member of the Wild, and it's 1-1. Full time in the NHL. That was 55 games with the Nashville Predators in the 18-19 season. Other than that, the most games he's ever played, just 20. Here's Kaprizov moving in. Spins back to Rask. He scores! Kaprizov finds Rask. He goes top corner and Minnesota's in front. He gets on the right side of this. Does a good job positioning. He ends up catching. I think that's Anderson. Draws a guy to himself and a quick, simple pass. Greenway centers. Foligno across to Hartman. He scores! Jonathan Quick on his belly. Upstairs, Hartman goes with it in the wild. Get the goal. Fiala takes a step. Pass intercepted, but it's held in at the line by Spurgeon over to Kaprizov. Kaprizov sends it down low. Kaprizov pinching in, now at the side of the net, tries to take a quick shot, and they do, and they score! Kevin Fiala with the power play goal has tied this game at one. And then eventually, see right here, good job by Spurgeon to keep the puck in at the blue line. But then they work it to Kaprizov's side and work it down low. And once they work it down low, it seems to open up other areas of the ice. Kaprizov to Zuccarello. And... Puck now sends up top. Held in. Wild has possession. Coming up now for Brodeen. Brodeen walking the line. Little pass to Dumba. He fires it so large with the saves as it was up high. And he has turns, fires and scores! Goes to the hard area. That's how you get rewarded. Look at him. In front of the net, paying a price. 
And he mentioned if there was a shutdown line on Anaheim uh, or a line that they needed to be solid against, they maybe would switch things up. Here's Boldy with Fiala. Fiala cuts out front. He scores! He did it on his first goal. I love this. He attacks the middle of the ice on the backhand, creates room confusion that draws Ryan Getzlaff over. Then Kevin Fe Zuccarello on it for Minnesota. Works against Grant. Heads it off. Kaprizov a shot that went just wide. Centering pass. Hartman scores. He batted it out of midair, and it's two zip Minnesota. Cannot score, boy. He's got a nose for the net. Kirill Kaprizov overskating the puck would have been a breakaway. Mono a mono versus Stolarz doesn't quit on the shift after missing it. Rolls around top of the zone. Wild won the last seven meetings last year with the divisional realignment. These teams met eight times. Addison tried to center. Raquel takes it away. Kaprizov tied up by Zegras into the circle. Zuccarello scores. Tremendous work by Kaprizov, and Zuccarello makes it 3-1 Minnesota. Everybody knows, find the soft spot. All eyes on Kaprizov, two ducks there. Dean Evison got a brief explanation. I don't necessarily think he was happy with the explanation. Boldy centers, Fiala, and they score! It deflected out front. I'm not sure if Fiala got a stick on it or not. It might have got in off the defender, but Minnesota has extended the lead to 4 1, and it's Boldy and Fiala creating offense for the second time tonight. Fantastic start to the game. They do it again here. Boldy wins the battle. Quick little turn on the half wall, throws it to the net. Kevin Fiala, I don't think this is going to go to him. You see that so much with some of the young players nowadays is their ability to turn and pick up speed in such a hurry. Zuccarello scores! Right off the draw! Four seconds after the Boldy goal, it's 5-1 Minnesota. For these guys, unlike the other line, that was a face-off win. Ducks not paying attention. Zuccarello with a good jump on Comtois. Ducks come back in with Comtois. To the line, Shattenkirk, his shot blocked by Addison. And Kaprizov floats it out to center ice. Rask to Felino. Felino moves in. Rask, far scores! What a start to the period for Minnesota. Three goals in 125 seconds. It's 6-1 wild. Jewel Erickson, maybe a placeholder here, but he can make a play on the offensive side of the puck. Marcus Felino, nice little feed right to Victor Rask. Quick release, one time. Up high, Dumba feeds Merrill to Zuccarello. Stripped of the puck by Zegras, but Hartman right there. Around the boards where Dumba has it. Dumba works to the slot, looking, fire, scores! Well, they just they just wore him down and they were patient eventually that play came to a 50-50 puck Ryan Hartman on his horse fresh legs able to beat a duck standing still Out to the line Down with it into the corner Hagelin's pass off target all the way down and they score With the delayed call coming the Capitals throw one in their own net. But Minnesota will be shorthanded. Oh, what a, what a sequence. Kuznetsov gets his second with the man advantage. This one, six versus five, his first. Five versus four. Knocks it around to Fiala. Out to Zuccarello. Across for Dumba. Back to Zuccarello. He moves in. A shot. They score! More magic for Minnesota. The shutout streak over that stuck around through the second period mentioned earlier on the edge of their seat waiting for that special play it took six interesting rossi is absent from this top unit to this five on three fiala across the lines of gorilla works the left point goes brink watch shot score 
Score! Oh, there is the quick trigger from Carell to Thrill. A power play goal for the Wild. And they deadlocked the game at one. Cross seam by Zuccarello. Hangs on to it, finds that seam. I mean, defending. Connor Dewar wins the draw. Back to Brodeen. He'll drive one. Score! Not sure if it was deflected in front, but that was a rocket from Jonas Brodeen. And the Wilds take the lead. Face off, eventually Dewar is able to win it cleanly, and then the traffic in front by Dewar. Only to expire, Boldy now five aside, brings it across. Sets up Bellino, back to Boldy, shoots, and scores! The BC Kid returns home and scores his first National Hockey League goal to stretch the Wild lead to 3-1. What a, what a night for Boldy. And he deserves it. Terrific work as you get a look at some family members in the stands. Boldy off the regroup. Nice play here to kick it out to Felino and then find some open ice and then a good feed by Felino to find him. Works it back around. This is Jordan Tyru, defended by Goligowski. And now the Wild come out. The face off out in front. Zuccarello scores. Somehow Kaprizov is able to protect the puck, keep the big defender off him, and loop that puck to the front of the net. He's going to get the goal, actually. Right. Went off the stick of Bikola, the defender. Now to 90 seconds remaining. And now the Wild from behind the net. The centering pass from Pitlick to flex in. It did hit a stick, went right over the left shoulder of Biddington, and again another goofy bounce here in this hockey game. Expect the unexpected, right, Panger? And from behind the net, it's going to bank off the mask. Oh First the goodness. stick, and then the mask. Oh, it bring it up. Well, you reminded him three times on the Zoom, <laughs> so you might as well get it out there now. Pass across, score! The Wild with their third of the night. It's Ryan Hartman. And bang, it's in the net. Dumba gets it in deep. There's that play, Mikola and Dumba. And what a nice pass that was. Oh my goodness, two great passes. And did. Kaprizov picks up the puck, flings a backhander wide. Zuccarello looking for Kaprizov, taken away by Klingberg, held by Brodeen. Zuccarello, Kaprizov, Hartman scores! And an answer for Minnesota. Cuts the Dallas lead to 2-1. Fire this year, lighting the lamp, just takes his time as a right-handed player here. Usually you'd shoot top glove, but Ottinger gets out there. Legs continue to turn the way they are here in the first period. Polino able to deflect. Backs it back defensively for Dallas. Polino picks his pocket, works out front, hands it off, and they score! What a play by Polino! He does the work along the end wall. Fiala finishes, and Minnesota has come back to tie it. That's what Marcus Foligno does. He does a little bit more than that. Lifts the guy's stick, comes up out in front of the net, realizes that Andre's going to probably... Hartman to Zuccarello. Skipped across for Merrill. His shot was blocked. Goligoski holds his own. Into the slot, Zuccarello had his shot blocked. Kaprizov scores! Well, Zuccarello didn't find him with a pass. He finds him with a rebound, and Kaprizov beats Ottinger. It's 4-3. Second effort by Matt Zuccarello right here to come up with this loose puck. Tries to shoot the puck on that. Goes off. Kaprizov looking for a high tip. Clearing attempt actually hit Glenn Denning. Kaprizov holds his own. It's skipped by Fiala, but he finds it. And throws one into the skates of Hartman. Hartman has it back of the net. Out front, Fiala scores! And a power play goal has Minnesota within 6-4. And I believe that was. Makes a bad pass there. Kind of jams Ryan Hartman. Hartman goes behind there and just turns his body enough to get it out front. And Ottinger. Zuccarello leads for Kaprizov. 
Back to Zuccarello. He's well covered. Loose puck. Zuccarello. Kaprizov. And he sent it just wide. Back to the line. Kulikov across. Merrill scores! Minnesota Wild needed to respond after having not many plays in the zone. And you look at this play as it pops up, moves across the ice, and Merrill just... Comes around behind the net. Zuccarello. Spurgeon. Goligoski got it out to center ice. Kaprizov has Hartman with him. Kaprizov fires. Scores! Second puck that's trickled through. Lukanen. And this one rolls over the line. It's 2-1 Minnesota. Buffalo being good in the neutral zone, but there have been times where there's openings right in the middle. You see Kaprizov still going north. Knows the puck's going to squeak out to him, which it... Wild control, and it skips off the center ice. Wild have numbers, penalty coming against Vegas. Duhame with it. Into the slot, Goligoski scores! There was a delayed penalty coming against Vegas for a high stick, but Alex Goligoski, with his third goal of the season, has Minnesota back to even. So far, the Wild have done that in the first period. What a great play by Duhame here, hanging on, patience, Buys himself just enough time and goal. Down to 10 seconds in the period. Spurgeon for Eric Sinek. And now Hartman out of the corner. Spurgeon bats it back to him. Hartman center. Spurgeon to redirect. Zuccarello scores! And that one will count. I was looking up at the score clock when that puck entered the goal line. There was still about a half a second left on the score. But this one appeared to enter the net before the clock hit donuts what a smart play by jared spurgeon just re wins in eight of their last nine coming into play tonight we're underway in the second period from vegas and here's bukestad in for minnesota bukestad fires off the point oh, he scores up under the crossbar, Bukestad, nine seconds in, and it's 3-2 Minnesota. And it was just a clean two-on-one, a mix-up. I thought for sure he was going to his patented shot on the short side. His shot off a skate, goes to the corner. McNabb is there. Polino intercepts. Goligoski into the middle, Erickson Eck. Got it across, Spurgeon fires, and a bouncing puck, they score! Marcus Polino out front, ties it for Minnesota. Tangled up in his glove a little bit and then squirts to his left. You see here, it looks like, to me, it was going way wide and all of a sudden it just pops in there. And I don't know who's hit more crossbars or posts if they get the stats for that. Anthony, can you look for the, the next for the next game to see who's hit the most posts Check crossbar? Check out that tonight. I mean, it's unbelievable. Double scores! Deflected by Polino out front. Turn it into a goal here. Again, keeping the puck scrummed. Moving the puck up to the... I mean, I've played with a lot of far farm boys over the years. I've never met a lazy one, Pat, and I'm sure he's, he's cut out of the same plot. Duham to the line. Merrill fires. Sliding save. He'll rebound. They score! And it's Kevin Fiala. Finally! 1-0 Minnesota. Fiala had gone seven games without a goal, 28 shots over that stretch. He gets an easy one and buries it. It's one zip wild. Needed that more than Kevin Fiala. Again, moving the puck low to high. Aiden Hill, if he does have one issue, it's a little bit with the rebound control. That one pops. I heard some of the comments afterward. Just, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Just an incredible play. Well, they got to come up with a new name. That can't be the Michigan. That, that was a little bit different. We might have to call that one the Milano. A tip out front and they score! Zuccarello throws it through the slot and Eric Sinek, another power play tally for Minnesota. Second consecutive game with a power play goal for Eric Sinek, his sixth power play tally of the year, and the Wild extend the lead to two zip. So much better in the face-off circle this year. This is the old Sedin shot pass. Sticks are not in the right lanes. Couture at the Fiala up front with Greenway and Foligno. Two defensemen, Goligoski and Spurgeon. 
Fiala gains the zone, got it to Greenway, he scores! Who says you got to win a face-off to have a good power play? Why not just score off the rush? What a play by Kevin Fiala. At the blue line going north-south, hits Jordan. Two minutes to go. Brodine couldn't get it by Meyer. Eric Sinek has it. Ahead for Hartman, and Hartman's able to clear. Greenway hustling after it. Greenway cuts to the net and scores! What an effort by Greenway! He outmuscles Burns and delivers what could be a knockout punch to the Sharks. And, and listen, he's been on the ice for 40 seconds, flips the puck up over Brent Burns' Empty net again for San Jose. Aramanov couldn't get the shot away. Kaprizov with a takeaway. Kaprizov in against the empty net. He scores. It's 5 2 Minnesota. Scoring a goal. These guys get paid to, to score goals. This feels good when you're skating up the ice there and you don't. Zuccarello, Brodeen. Back to Zuccarello. He fires. It's deflected wide. Eric Sinek pucks it in and scores! And a power play goal just a minute 11 in has Minnesota in front. And the wild power play of late has been just struggling. Only one goal really in their last six or seven games. And anytime that happens, you want to just try Zuccarello getting the puck on the far side. Not a pass through. Just get it to the net here and Erickson X stays with it. Koskinen comes off of the post, which is not exactly how you want to seal that off. And Erickson X gets himself. And now Brodine with it back to the net. Bumped by McDavid as he got it to Greenway. Erickson X scoops it up with the Wild have numbers coming the other way. Polino drops for Dumba. Dumba centers. Polino scores! Dean Evison gets the matchup he wants, and the Oilers pay the price. A minus for McDavid and company as Felino makes it to zip. Goal was created here. Marcus Felino just drops the puck off. Now it's time to go find some open ice. Matt finds him on the back door for an app. Kulikov out of the head to Zuccarello. Zuccarello gains the line. Rask backpedaling in. Finds Brodine. Centered. Rask scores! play four on three Jonas Brodeen jumps up into the play finds Victor Rask on the back McLeod has it taken away by Rask he reverses smartly to Ben a one-touch pass here's a chance moving in Kulikov scores that's a defenseman on the rush for Minnesota and the breakaway goal makes it 4-1 nervous realizes it's time to jump up nice little redirect through the neutral zone there by Rem Pitlick and nice move forehand Greenway sends it ahead for Duhane he has Eric Sinek with him into the Toronto zone fights off a muzzin check Dumba steps into a drive Greenway scores Dean Everson counters with Eric Sinek, Greenway, Duhame. Duhame with the entry. Looked a lot like Kaprizov's on the special goal, except he holds, waits for help. Puts a Eric Sinek chips to the corner. Muzzin bumped by Kaprizov. Kaprizov out to the line for Brodine. Across to Zuccarello. Zuccarello moves in. Fire scores! <laughs> Deflected out front. The wild power play, or power play finally breaks through. Zuccarello, nobody in front, kind of wants to shoot, but he knows that's not the play. Ryan Hart All year long, wild coaches have preached that they need all of them involved in the play. Felino scores! A fortunate bounce off the official for Minnesota. And Felino beats Campbell. It's a three-goal lead for the wild. And they give it back. Wild with a good jump, great stick by Felino there on the faceoff. 
Erickson Eck brings it to the net. The puck's left there. Jack can't. Erickson played it in. Turned back the other way, and Hartman goes cross ice with it. Kaprizov trying to spin out front. Kaprizov scores! What a move! Anthony, you can spread him out. Get him going cross ice, make him change sides, then let Kaprizov one on one. Graves usually a solid. Fiala dumps it in cross ice. Rask there for Minnesota. Pitlick also in on the forecheck. Pitlick comes away with the puck. Waits, fires, and scores! by Pitlick on this play. Yeah, an impressive display of patience and give Kevin Fiala, Victor Rask, probably not. Siegenthaler with it there for New Jersey. Got it to the line. Held by Goligoski. Zuccarello moves to the middle. Kaprizov fires. Hartman scores! He batted it out of midair! Takes the middle of the ice, finds Kaprizov. I thought Zuccarello actually had a better shot in the interior. Second shift in a row for this line. Just finding a way in the offensive zone. Kaprizov to Hartman, a shot, save, rebound, they score! Kulikov on the rebound, beats Blackwood, and it's 4-2 Minnesota. It was a quick up, the puck came out of the neutral zone, didn't give him a chance to get their change. The Wild do exactly that again, they get moved. Minnesota can match that win streak if they can hang on here tonight. Hartman brings it in. Works wide against Siegenthaler and scores! <laughs> Admittedly said he didn't touch the Kaprizov goal. He can't admit he did. Greenway fanned on it along the boards, but Eric Sinek is there. Out front, a chance for Brodine, and they score! Sinek on the rebound, and the Wild tie it 1-1. No surprise to see this big physical line change the momentum of the game. Jordan Greenway wins the battle on the wall, creates some space for Eric Sinek. He does a great job finding Kulikov there, and you have to love that play. Patient. Good pressure by Hartman, sent it around behind the net. Hartman a redirect, and that was blocked. Kaprizov with it. Kaprizov, fire, scores! Starts with Rem Pilek, he had a good stick behind the net to break up the breakout. Then Kaprizov, we've seen him exploit this, extend the Coyotes in the offensive zone. That rebound, but that shot's so heavy all the way to the corner. Paulino with it here. Goes cross ice. Rask just off the bench. Back to the line for Merrill. Merrill shot. Scores! I believe got a piece of this. It'll be his first of the year if he did. Yeah, doing some work out front. Using the bodies. They played an identity style game. They've gotten their chances as they've worked. Brodeen. Fire scores! <laughs> and how big is that play now, Anthony? Of that third line, bringing the puck to the net, not just content to take a two-goal lead. Got it through to Greenway, but it was in his skates. Greenway settles it down, back to Felino. Out to the line, Brodine a shot. That hit a stick on the way, Felino scores! <laughs> Starts with a point shot. Winning the battle out front. Jordan Greenway does a good job getting open to receive this one. Marcus Felino. 
Sorelli now pressuring Bukestad. He got it ahead to Sturm. Well, I think that puck slowly making its way to the trapezoid. Bukestad drives it and scores! What a play by Bukestad over the shoulder of Vasilevsky. And the Wild on the board first. Well, how about this play from your fourth line? Nico Sturm grabs two guys. It opens a little ice, and Bukestad turns on the Jets. Nice power move, uses the knee to get that stick out of the way. Goudreau tries to jump around Sorelli. Rask and Kalorn converge in the corner. Goudreau out front for Fiala. Rask scores! Victor Rask scratched the last couple of games, picks up where he left off. Three points to Dallas game, offensive explosion. Now from the press box again on the score sheet. Nice play. Brings this one from backhand to forehand. You mentioned six shots on goal. Counter attack there. Corey Perry with a little turnover. It'll give him goal between he and Kulikov. The pre off to Hartman. He scores! Five goals in the last six for Hartman. And this one puts Minnesota in front. 3-2. They wear Tampa down. They've got pucks. They can't get out of their zone clean. Can't get past the red line. The Wild keep coming. Dumba grabs a loose puck. Off the boards and out to center ice. Palat with it. Polino a takeaway. Fires. Scores! And the Wild will take down the champs. And then how about the, the shift this line had? Almost three. Loose puck just inside the Winnipeg line. Dumped into the corner by Bukestad. Sturm fighting for it there for Minnesota. Sturm scored the team's first shorthanded goal of the season. Wednesday night in New Jersey. Galagoski scores! A long wrist shot from the defenseman beats Hellebuck. And it's 1-0 Minnesota in the opening minute. Good shift by the fourth line. They follow up. The X start. Goligoski corrals this puck quickly. And that fourth line does what they do best. They it turned out. Kaprizov. Plays to the wing. Kulikov recovers his own shot. Back up high. Zuccarello. Long shot off the post. They score! Well, Kulikov does a great job following his play. Picks up his own rebound. Zuccarello with the shot. Off the shoulder. Then off the back of Hellebuck. I don't think it is. Top off to a great start this year. 16 points in 19 games. Last year was the first time he ever went over 30 points in a season. There's a rebound chance and they score. Hartman flips it up over Hellebuck. And it's 3-zip Minnesota. Turnover in the neutral zone leads to Kaprizov. Shot, shot, block, stuck with. Clearing attempt was deflected back into wild territory, and now Zuccarello has it. He sends Kaprizov in. Kaprizov fires, saved by Hellebuck. Rebound, Hartman sends to the line. Brodina shot, loose, Zuccarello scores! Puts him up 3 nothing. Everson elects to leave him out there. Great move. Kaprizov with the breakaway shot and turn this from a trap game into a solid game. Dubois centered just too far for Svechnikov. Fiala tape to tape for Pitlick at center. To Goudreau back across to Merrill. Fire scores! Well, the Jets have a little two on one going the other way. The Wild eventually gets some room up the ice. John Merrill does a good job following this play. Pitlick grabs a loose puck here. Ahead for Dumba. Dumba slides it across for Pitlick. Back into the slot. Dumba scores! For a guy who's been snake bitten lately, Dumba had just one point in the last eight games. Makes no mistake here. No, I put, and that one finds above. You shoot above the pad below the blocker and hope it finds a hole. 
that situation. That's exactly what played out. Not much for Dubois to look at or shoot at. They found a hole. Kaprizov scores! A fast answer for Minnesota. It's 7-1. Spot for check Ryan Hartman so good Kevin Fiala cleans up the loose change watch the hit by Hartman Fiala on the four check quick little play up to Kaprizov prime scoring opportunities on that most recent play so especially with your legs not quite under you after a long bus ride a, a smart play Kulikov just inside the line fire scores Looked like it may have changed direction on the way in. Kulikov shot from the line, winds up behind Blackwood, and Minnesota has the game's first goal. Go down the other end, look at this. Head up the whole way as Kulikov rips a shot. And who's next? Sturm to Brodine, and Brodine rings it all the way around. Scooped up at center by Goudreau. He has Sturm with him, shorthanded. Goudreau to Sturm, and a straight scores! Blackwood slid across, but Sturm beats him, and the shorthanded goal has Minnesota in front, 2-0. Subban, and here's Merrill ripping it around, and I love this. Coming around, patience. Fake it, fake it, and then move it across. On a bit of a scoring surge for Minnesota, four points in the last two games. He's now tops among all wild blue liners with ten points. He and Gaudreau play catch. Across for Dumba. Dumba scores! Might have been tipped by Felino out front. When you're tight together and working as a unit, but watch how far away Goligoski is. He moves it all the way across the ice to Dumba. Dumba doesn't have, he's not a guy who I think of and says, oh, he doesn't back check, doesn't play D zone. So that's a very valuable thing to have as one of your leading scorers be committed. Duhame scores! Took the feed from Ben off the wall and hammers one by Elliott. It ties the game. Fun time back in this home state. See them cut across the zone, move it across, and then high slot. slot. I love Goligoski takes a look, goes to Kulikov. Kulikov moves to the middle, back to Fiala. And now Kulikov. Fiala, a one-timer, he scores! right now is time on ice and his ability to maintain and keep his be mentally sharp Dumba has it 50 seconds left Dumba works the line got it to Fiala Fiala moves in didn't have a shooting lane so circles back now to Kaprizov his shot Erickson scores can you believe it that's the third pipe today that we've seen I love this Fiala instead of forcing it cutting back Dishes to Kaprizov, who one touches it, and Erickson X. Bruno and Darby, when they get together and tell stories, our own West Walls, too. I mean, those three guys, such a big part of that magical 2003 playoff run for the Wild. And they score out front. Erickson X deflects it by Bobrovsky, who had lost his stick on the play. It's up, change the point of attack. You see Zuccarello, who... Wild down a pair against the team with the best record in the league. And here comes Kaprizov in. He scores! Kaprizov beats Kowalski. And the Wild are quickly within one. Love this effort. Watch Gaudreau on the right side of the screen. One-handed it, intercepted it, kept it, the puck moving. Dumba holds his own. Rask for Gaudreau. Goligoski wheels and fires. Save Bobrovsky. Rebound. They score! Marcus Polino on the is it by Bobrovsky and the Wild cut the lead to 4-3 with 45 seconds left. In order to keep the play alive and moving, we see his incredible work to keep the puck from going out, out of the zone and Goligoski gets it, just turns around, rips it, Greenway takes a stab at Had it deflected in. Erickson Eck scores! It was tipped out and Hartman's redirect has Minnesota back within one with 8.6 to go. When you pull a goalie to be able to score so often and so many times you see Erickson Eck come along the wall just lofting a shot. Pitlick with it for Minnesota. Pitlick into the circle. Duhane with a shot. Pitlick comes back with it. Circles through the zone. Fire scores! Red 
Jason Pitlick continuing his goal scoring. You'll take a look. He's in the left corner and just takes his head up, notices, hey, I'm going to turn on the Jets, come around, and just rip it far side. Good screen. Peterson now tied up by Zuccarello. Spurgeon to Zuccarello. Zuccarello got it to Rash. Back to Zuccarello. Cuts out front. Kaprizov scores! Look at this. Tap back left. Come across. Back door. Got it to Fiala. Fiala back to Hartman. Hartman to Goligoski. Defended by Sagan. The wraparound. Hartman scores! Such a great job. Zone entry. Watch the patience again with Hartman. Moves it to Goligoski. A defenseman jumps in. Looks to slam it in, but... Greenway into the corner. The Ian Hockenpah battle. Eric Sinek got it to Goligoski. A shot. He scores! Clear it out. Heads up play by Eric Eck. And I love this. Goligoski, you see it so many times. Kaprizov. Leaves Pavelski in his dust as he spins back, sends it across to Dumba. Rask in the corner, and Kaprizov tied up by Sagan. Kaprizov up front! Goudreau scores! What a play by Kaprizov! The battle in the corner. Escapes the pressure, behind the back, off the... Rask to Goligoski. Kick to the corner. Kaprizov centers. And they score! Zuccarello beats Hudobin. And a fast answer for Minnesota. It's back to a four goal lead for the Wild. Kaprizov in. Love the pinch along the wall, Zuccarello, and he doesn't just stay on the boards. He sprints, and look at that patience as he drives. You're right. That's such a great point, Anthony, and it's, it, again, it. Here they come, two on one, Zuccarello to Kaprizov, and he fanned on it, last fires, and he scores! How about two on the same shift? You see Victor Rask heading up ice. It's a clear two-on-one with Haskin in the middle. But I the back check, you'll notice, that's Pavelski. Stops in front, tries to deflect it, and it looks like it just rolls over everyone. Hits the... Back across off target, and it forces Dumba out of the zone. Now Brodine with it to Fiala. Eric Sinek drags around. One scores! Joel Erickson X finishes it, but look at Brodine to Fiala, who drops it back to Erickson X, who walks in and again. He'll button hook, lay it back for Susie. The pass goes off a stick, corralled by Dunn out in front, broken up, dumped out by Goligoski. Now a foot race. Hartman in first for Minnesota, out in front, they score! Bram Pitlick gets to it, that's his first goal in the National Hockey League, and Minnesota breaks the ice. It's all set up by the workmanship of Ryan Hartman getting to this loose puck, out racing Susie, throws a nice little backhander to the front. McCann had it knocked away. Here comes Pitlick in alone for Minnesota. Pitlick scores. Let's see. Store for us in the third. Again, Ryan Hartman with the play in the neutral zone. This guy is absolutely all over the ice. Forehand, backhand, he had his mind made up. He was at the end of a shift. He was a little tired. Fortunately, the Seattle Kraken players were pretty exhausted, too. Couldn't Jumps on it for Seattle. Good defensive play by Hartman. He's got Pitlick in for the hat trick. Pitlick scores!
Ryan Hartman sees him, hits him right on the tape. Now you're thinking to yourself, is he going to try to do something different? Does not. Felino fires at the empty net and sent it wide. Sturm collects it off the end wall and wraps it in. That was indicative of because of the saddle. Kraken won the won that face off there, but Nico Sturm does a good job of using his speed. And now Waugh comes to center. Oligoski back for the Wild. Spurgeon to Zuccarello. Goudreau across to Kaprizov. Two on two of the Vegas line. Spurgeon's the trailer moving in. He scores! And a minute 20 in, the Wild have life. Jumping up into the play, it's a theme we've seen all season long. Jared Spurgeon jumps into that play anytime you're, you're moving up. And it was passed behind Hartman. Kulikov with it. Ulikov working up near the line, holds the zone. Merrill down low. Hartman fires. He scores! Hartman beats Brossois, and the Wild cut it to one. It's when it matters. Great play there by Erickson Eck. Gets the puck a little. In their last eight games, two for their last 23. What is Wild power play? As the drop pass to Fiala, Kaprizov gains the line, dished it off to Zuccarello. This pass ricocheted out, tapped over. Eriksson Ek with a shot, he scores. Jewel Eriksson Ek and the power play to open the scoring for Minnesota. A valuable part of what the Minnesota Wild are building. And here's the entry into the zone with perfect. Uh, and once you get into the zone, a nice little poke of the stick by Spurgeon. He didn't even... Against Seattle, Jamilka's lost his stick here as it got caught in the skates of Eric Sinek as he turned around the back of the gauge. We've got another penalty of coming here against Arizona as Kakanen goes to the bench. They score! John Merrill with a seeing eye wrist shot. And it is 2-0 Minnesota, nine minutes in. And again, the discipline of Minnesota. They hold on to pucks. They wear you down. They don't give them up easily in those big bodies down low. So you can see he's trying to get his balance there, but there's the moving screen. And Spurgeon will wrap this one around. Shame we won't keep you too long. We know you've got stuff to do here, but uh, congratulations on, uh, on your son's success and joining the organization. Is this one... How about that? Oh, batted out of the air by Kevin Fiala, and the Wild have made it 3-1. Incredible hand-eye coordination there. Backhand, too. And it went under the bar and in. So much talent. He's been fun to watch for the last two years. Here's a play from the side, off the step, and he used the... <laughs> Don't <Dota>, congrats. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks, guys. Guy. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right. That's Shane Doan. We'll keep an eye on his... Son as well. He's got 14 points in 10 games for ASU. Here's a chance for Kulikov. A wide open net and he scores. Two goals in the first three and a half minutes of the second period for Minnesota. Coming in a 36 second stretch. Wild lead at 4 to 1. Continue the attack here. Entering into the zone by Kulikov. Nice backhand pass right there. Again, good hand eye coordination. And then you can. You see Pitlick makes the play. Oh, man, pretty good delay right there. I mean, goaltenders have to move so much when he makes the fake to go his backhand to stretch even further in terms of that cross-ice movement. Five on three power play here for Minnesota. Kirill Kaprizov playing catch with Zuccarello, and he scores! Kaprizov and Zuccarello back and forth, and Kaprizov darts out from below the goal line and stuffs it in. Yeah, pretty common play on a five on three. And it opens everything up, and it causes the defenseman in the forward to be looking back, looking behind. So, smart play, keeping up high. Now you're going to go down low. Left-hand shot, left-hand shot. They made that look easy. You just got to kind of chip it along the wall just like that and get it into the offensive zone. Try to keep it away from the goalie if you can. Barlamov, not known for his puck skills. Duhame with it. Centers, Bukes down a redirect. And a save by Barlamov. Duhame scores! Just kind of moves everybody down into their situation. I talk about Varlamov is an inability to, to play the puck, turns the puck over. Nice little play there first by Duhane. Stays with it, fakes like he's going to throw it up to the top and just turns. A cagey little play by Varlamov using his stick to break up that pass to Zuccarello on the far side. Here's Hartman off the bench. His shot blocked. Rebound, he scores! Hartman does it again, and we're even at two. Into the
the offensive zone. Loose puck, short side roof. Brodeen able to pick it out of traffic. Around behind for Dumba. Hartman gives to Duhame. Duhame in fire scores! Same spot over the glove, and it's 3 2 Minnesota. He's played outstanding here again. That's the speed that we talked about that he. In behind Nelson. Out to the line, Pollock. Into the middle, Wallstrom. Now Barzell. Great stick by Erickson Eck. Cannot clear. Brodeen catches up with the puck. Fires at the length of the ice and scores! Jonas Brodeen with a 175 foot wrister. The empty net tally has Minnesota up by two. First off by Erickson Eck right there to create that loose puck and then Jonas Brodeen taking a bit of a chance, but he had enough of the puck was on his forehand. Barzell comes to center. And this icing is waved off. Dumba will play it. He takes a shot at the empty net. And Dumba scores! One for each of the defensive tandem. Empty net goals for Brodine and Dumba. And it's 5-2 Minnesota. 4 players scrum down low. Goudreau to the line. Goligoski. Goligoski a shot. And that was deflected wide. Goudreau has it. Back to Goligoski, another shot, tipped off the post, rebound, Kaprizov scores! And that play all happened in the corner before Kirill Kaprizov scored the goal, did a great job on a one-on-one -on -one situation, got the puck in the zone, and because of that, got rewarded. You had five-on-five -five cycles, that's like today's National Hockey League, you see a lot more of those. Great chance by Fiala right off of the faceoff. Just shoots it wide. Brodeen gives it to Felino. Back to Brodeen, moving in a shot. They score! It was deflected on the way.